Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Always Look on the Bright Side of Life. There's your, uh, your first verse. You can just hit them once if you like. I'll show you some variations in a moment. All right, so this is, I forget what the words are. Uh, uh, some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Uh, things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, give a whistle. And then the A7, this will make things turn out for the A7, uh, sorry, D7 best. So, uh, that's your verse, your first verse anyway, uh, and what you could do is you could just hit them once like I did. Um, let's go over the chords, and um, A minor 7 is your first chord, all open. Your left hand's doing nothing, okay? A minor 7, then we're going to go to a D sharp diminished 7. 4th uh, string 2nd fret, 2nd string 2nd fret, 3rd string 3rd fret, 1st string, 3rd fret. That's a D-sharp diminished 7. Then we're going to go to a G chord. So 3rd uh, string, 2nd, 1st string, 2nd, 2nd string, 3rd fret. That's a G chord. Then just lift up your ring finger so that the 2nd string's open. That's a G6. All right, those are, and then that chord, that, that repeats. And then you do the A minor 7 uh, again, and then the D-sharp diminished 7, then the G chord. Eventually, you're going to need an E7 chord. 4th string, 1st fret. 3rd string, 2nd fret. 1st string, 2nd fret. E7. Then you're going to need an A7. That's the 3rd string, 1st fret. Everybody else is open. Then you need a D7. 4th string, 2nd fret. 2nd string, 2nd fret. That's your D7. Those are all the chords you're going to need for your verse. Okay, so let's yell them out. A minor 7 to D sharp diminished 7, G to G6, you repeat that, A minor 7, D sharp diminished 7, G to G6, A minor 7 again, D sharp diminished 7, G again, this time you go to an E7, and then the A7 gets 4 beats, everybody else so far has gotten 2 beats, then the D7 gets 4 beats, so that's your verse. So let, let, me, uh, let me give you a variation later on in the song. You know, it's going to be pretty, pretty boring to just hit them once. So you could go like down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So most of the chords get two beats a piece, but then once you get all the way through to the all the way to the A7 chord near the end, that one gets four beats, and then the D7 gets four beats at the end. So we're going to change our strum to down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, yeah, you can do that as a variation when the verses come back up. Uh, the form of the song is just the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, and then the outro, which is the chorus. It's just they repeat it a number of times. Okay? So let's get to the chorus. The chorus is, uh, you know, always look on the bright side of life. And it just repeats that over and over again. You can get your whistle going. They do the whistle in it. So it does it four times in a row as a chorus, and then as an outro, they do it like 12 times, and I think they fade out. You end on a G, a G chord if you want to end the song. If you don't have the ability to fade out in live, then end on a G chord. So the chorus is uh, two beats a piece on each one of these chords. You already know all the chords, really. Um, it's a G chord, and you're going to go down, down, up. The next chord, you could think of going to a G6, which we've already talked about. You just lift up your ring finger. Uh, on the music, I call it an E minor 7, so don't get confused if you get the, you download the link and, and, and you, you, you're looking at my work and you're like, what? E minor 7 and G6 are basically the same chord, same notes in the chord. So 
So uh, you got G, lift up your ring finger, E minor 7 or G6, whichever you prefer, and then A minor 7 is totally open, and then a D7. And we've already talked about all the chords, so all you have to do is play that four times in a row. Oh, sorry. Right side of G, E minor 7, A minor 7 to D7. Always look on the... Uh, to the, uh, the verse part. And that's the song. It just does that verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, and then the outro is just the same as the chorus. It's just that they repeat it forever. And that's it. Thank you, Monty Python. And I uh, always love this song. Thanks for watching. Play more Ooka. Please subscribe.